we're presenting it at the meeting because really it's a pre-planned final analysis when there are enough events to actually report maturity. And just to remind everyone about the Acaria study, this was a prospective randomized phase three looking at isotuximab combined with pomalidomide and dexamethasone compared to pomalidomide and dexamethasone as a control in patients who'd had two to four prior lines of therapy. And we met our primary endpoint comfortably showing a significant progression-free survival advantage in favor of the three drugs over the two. And this led to the FDA approval of um, the isotuximab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone combination um, with this important benefit. And at the first and second analyses for survival, there were some trends in favor um, of um, the benefit of um, uh, isotuximab in overall survival. Um, but these were trends. And with this final analysis, we still see that trend. It almost makes it, but doesn't quite, to statistical significance. But what we did was to look at both COVID mortality to see if that impacted in any way on the outcome. And we also looked at a sort of statistical quirk, which is if you look at salvage treatment, for example, in this case, daratumumab, if you took daratumumab out of the equation, what happened to survival? How did that look? And what we showed was that um, Clearly, the combination of the three drugs, isotoximab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone, had a benefit in terms of overall survival trend with a hazard ratio of around 0.77 when you didn't have this correction in, dropping to around 0.7 when you did. So almost there, but not quite. Nonetheless, the message is clear. Um, the overall survival benefit does appear to be a, 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 a approaching significance, and clinically it's certainly meaningful. Uh, and in that context, it supports the fact that the use of these three drugs earlier versus later um, makes sense in the relapsed refractory setting. No new safety signals and the PFS also was, the PFS benefit was sustained. Um, so again, a nice confirmatory analysis um, representing a really nice trial across 24 countries actually, um, and therefore real world. Um, so we're very happy to present those results.